I got new skincare recently because I've been wanting to try so many products. So I wanted to get the Aqua Bomb for a while, but I haven't. And then I saw there's a set. So I was like, I might as well get the set for the same price of just like the Aqua Bomb. I'm so excited to try it. I also got like a bunch of like other skincare people have been raving about and that I've been wanting to try. So I'm so excited. Heat. <laughs> you guys i don't know if you guys know this but like i have a favorite family channel and they're called kk and baby j and karen from kk and baby j she has her own like clothing like fitness line store and stuff and like i've been eyeing <laughs> i've been eyeing to get her leggings since like her first drop but like it sold out so i couldn't get it and then two days ago she was on instagram and she said it's back in stock so i grabbed two <laughs> I hope they fit. I got a small and usually I'm like a size 4 in Lululemons and that's a small so I hope it fits. But um, I went ahead and got two. <laughs> I'm really excited because like I've been wanting to try these leggings for a bit. I've been trying to find like good affordable leggings too because I really like my Lululemons but like my Lululemons are so expensive so I can't get like another pair right now even if I wanted to. Well I could but like it's just financially not really smart <laughs> but i wanted something like in like similar quality i would say and it feels like this like this feel <laughs> i can't speak english and this feels like similar quality but i'll let you guys know after like i try it on and stuff how i like it but like i heard very good things about her leggings so i wanted to try and then like i also heard she's coming out with like different colors soon so i want to get it <laughs> As you guys can tell something is different i dyed my hair dark in the beginning when i dyed my hair dark it was so dark like it was only supposed to be like black brown but not too dark but it came out really dark and it honestly scared me <laughs> like i was like this is so dark like because it was a drastic change from my blonde hair to my dark hair but like my blonde hair was just too high maintenance and then if I kept it during this quarantine, the roots would have just been like bloop. Because my hair grows kind of fast, so my roots grow really fast. And it's just, it was too high maintenance. And even though I loved being a blonde, my hair was dying and like it was breaking. And it was just really sad because like whenever I touch up my roots, my hair would break. And like, that's heartbreaking. <laughs> Like you want your hair to grow but it keeps breaking every time you need to get your hair done so i was just like i can't do this anymore my hair needs to grow so i just dyed it back to this and it faded so now it's more like a brownish and it's kind of confusing because like in the light it's really brown and then like in the dark you can see it's brown but not too much it's like mostly like i don't know dark to you i don't know it's confusing but yeah so it's I know it's kind of like a drastic change from all my videos that's not even uploaded yet because I haven't been editing so like it's still like blonde hair right now until it gets to this video and then this girl just has dark hair again <laughs> it's my hair has been through a lot <laughs> I know prior to like this whole like quarantine stuff I said that 
um i feel like you would feel better if you get up and get ready like you have something to do get your makeup done do your hair shower like just a nice clothes or something if i'm being completely honest i haven't been doing that because <sighs> like i don't know like i just i just been in a funk like a really bad funk and like i felt really unmotivated not creative at all like i had no motivation to do anything i just laid around for two months which like honestly sucked because you're deep in your thoughts and it just makes you feel even worse you know what i mean so that's why i say like it's nice to like get up and get ready for the day like you have something to do but <laughs> Cause I just feel like if you get up and get ready you feel like better about yourself but I don't even do it like I'll be honest I don't even do it I think like during this whole quarantine I did it like a couple times including today <laughs> and then I kept getting like my like like cuz <clears throat> like if I'm being completely honest with you guys I've been in a really bad funk I feel unmotivated uninspired it's just <laughs> so feeling that way makes me like be in a slump and do nothing and honestly it's okay to why did my ac come on why but honestly i think it's okay to feel that way during this like pandemic quarantine oh i didn't mean to do quotation marks i don't know what it was i move my hands a lot i noticed but i think it's okay to feel that way take your time until you feel better to do stuff because i feel like the thing with me is that when i was feeling unmotivated and un un <laughs> uninspired that it made me feel worse because i kept thinking about it and since i kept thinking about it and how i'm so unproductive even though i have so many things i need to do it just made me feel worse but i feel like it's okay to take the time off and then help your mental health because that's what's really important because during this pandemic no one really knows what's going on so it stresses you out even more <laughs> but yeah that's the reason why i haven't been filming or editing videos even though i wanted to so now that i think about it <laughs> i wasted two months but you know what whatever i'm not gonna think about it anymore because if i keep thinking about it i just feel worse <laughs> And also, I got addicted to TikTok. TikTok is something I told myself I'm not going to get addicted to this. I'm not going to fall down that rabbit hole of TikTok. But I did. <laughs> like, I remember I used to, like, download TikTok and then I would delete it. And then I would download, delete, download, delete constantly. And this one day, I just got, like, I just, like, re-downloaded it. And then I got really addicted. I kept going, boop, boop and then watch people i really like i kept watching and even my boyfriend's like can you stop watching tiktok please get off tiktok i'm like leave me alone <laughs> but yeah i got addicted and i keep watching tiktok i was like obsessed for like a couple days and then like i just like started watching it every single day like it's a normal routine i go on it when i'm bored like oh my god but i like really love the cooking ones because this so i love just like trying new things so it's fun Hmm, what else happened? I started the Chloe Ting workout. I finished the two-week program with my boyfriend. We did it together. And like honestly, it killed me. Like the first like couple days, like first two to three days, it was rough. Like I'll admit, the first day was so rough. <laughs> but I managed to finish that two week and then like I even felt myself getting stronger. I felt better about myself and then like I got a cold and then I got sick and then I just like had to like rest for a bit. Because I was planning on resting, resting, rest, resting for a week after the two-week program. And then, like, I wanted to, like, put videos together from her YouTube videos. And then, like, make my own workout plan. And then I kept getting, like, like, sick a little and then off and then little and then off. And it was just annoying. And now I'm starting her workout again tomorrow. Oh, my God. I already feel like I'm going to die tomorrow. But, like, I got this. I got this. Like, I don't know, I haven't worked out since then because I kept getting like on and off like sick and it's just like my normal like cold sick so like I needed to rest my body but like I'm gonna die tomorrow <laughs> I'm gonna die tomorrow but like I feel excited doing it too I don't know why like 
but yeah i've been meaning to get back into working out for so long and i finally took the chance and did it and it felt great though i loved it but yeah but yeah i'm back now i'm gonna start filming and editing videos i'm gonna start like writing on videos i want to do plan out videos and yeah i'm excited like i finally like feel like a sense of motivation coming back even though it's like my unmotivation is still there and my feeling of un <laughs> uninspired is still there but like i want to do it you know like i have the little bit ounce of motivation that i want to do it so i need to get to it so then it can't push me down <laughs> but <laughs> anyways thanks for watching you guys and for everyone who is still here watching my videos thank you so much it means a lot to me um <laughs> Uh, I'm so oily. But thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for staying here watching my videos, even though I haven't been consistently uploading for so long. Like, I feel like the last two years I've been so bad at uploading videos and filming and editing. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I'm back and. I'm gonna use this whole quarantine life as my chance of editing and filming videos. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. And the cereal is so big and so crunchy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Today has <laughs> just flew by. The day is pretty much gone. We passed Stephanie. I'm currently watching Stephanie's mukbang. I just hopped back on because I'm curious, like, to know what. I look so gross. Oh my god. Mom. I'm curious about what you guys favorite like soda is. Mine is Dr. Pepper. I like love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I know I said this video is over, but I guess it's not over. Cause like I went out like to the gas station with my dad and he got me Dr. Pepper. So I just felt like asking <laughs> what you guys favorite soda is. Yeah. This is Bun Bun. My sister got this for me for my birthday one year and then I named it Bun Bun. And she's Bun Bun. And my sister's name is, I call her Bun Bun too, so. My sister's Bun Bun, and the stuffy she got me is Bun Bun. Well, okay. Mm -hmm.